Her two positive breast cancers are a uh, proportion of breast cancers that we treat. They represent about 20% of all the breast cancers that we treat today. Um, in 2006, adjuvant therapy uh, targeting the HER2 receptor became widely used and first was trastuzumab and now uh, we use dual targeted HER2 therapy with trastuzumab and pertuzumab. I think the real challenge with the HER2 positive tumors is deciding who should undergo upfront surgery and who should start with neoadjuvant therapy and I think it really depends on your goals. We understand that surgical de-escalation and trying to do less surgery um, is very important in improving quality of life for breast cancer patients. So if you can change the, the landscape of the surgery that someone's going to get by giving upfront chemotherapy in those patients, that's usually what we prefer to do. You can take someone who has a positive node and convert them to node negative and do less surgery in the axilla, or take a large tumor in the breast and downsize it to do um, a lumpectomy. I think one of the best advantages of HER2 positive tumors is their phenomenal response to systemic therapy that allows you to really de-escalate surgical care.